Chad, this feels huge because we've been talking about, I guess, the future of Angela Merkel and who could take over for quite some time, but suddenly it could be real. Hi, Francine, and I can uh, confirm from our side that we're also hearing here at Bloomberg from sources that she will not stand again uh, for the party uh, chairmanship. Uh, that party conference taking place uh, in early December. She announced that to her to the party leadership uh, just in the last hour or so. Uh, we're expecting to hear from the chancellor uh, later this afternoon. She has a press conference scheduled for 1 p.m. to discuss the results of the uh, election yesterday in the state of Hesse. Of course, uh, her party did very poorly in that election, coming with their re worst results there in uh, more than 50 years. So uh, clearly the chancellor has decided that uh, it's time for new leadership for the party. What's quite interesting is uh, Chancellor Merkel has always said that the party leadership and the role of chancellor, uh, they, that they, they should be together, that that was the role of one person. But clearly she has been feeling yeah. pressure over the last uh, weeks and months and has now decided that she will not seek re-election uh, as head of the party. So the head of the party will be chosen on December 7th. Is that correct, Chad? And what name, you know, who will come forward? They only have five weeks to actually put their name in the ring. Well, that is the one million dollar question here. There are, of course, uh, people who have been quite openly critical uh, within the party of the chancellor. Uh, we could expect perhaps someone like Jan Spahn, who is the uh, health minister. He's been one of those critics that he could possibly step forward as a candidate. Uh, it will remain to be seen uh, who, who else will step forward. And of course, there are those people who were close allies of the chancellor who until this point have uh, been quiet mm. on this front and very well may come forward now that she is uh, about to say yeah. that she is going to step Chad, back. Chad, the amateur analysis of this is the death of two parties and the splintering of it within some form of parliamentary system. What do the people want? Do they want a new established set of parties or do they want a splintered Germany? Well, Tom, what's quite interesting is, is you're exactly right. What we basically have now is several small parties in Germany for a very long time since uh, basically the end of World War II. You had the Social Democrats and the Christian Democrats who, who basically were the two main parties and they really ran the country with a couple of smaller parties sometimes joining in coalition. When you look at the results of the most recent uh, state votes, they, they really aren't big parties anymore. You have the uh, FDP, which is a, a liberal party doing very well. The Greens uh, actually were on the same level as the Social Democrats in yesterday's vote. And so this splintering then makes it very difficult to govern in this country because you need several parties in the coalition. When we look at yesterday's vote as well, people in the exit poll said they were very unhappy with how the national government has conducted itself over the last seven months since uh, they came into power. And this was in some ways a vote of protest against them. So the big question still that also remains is what is going to happen to the Social Democrats? They had their worst result yesterday uh, in this state vote since World War II. They are expected to address those results uh, later this afternoon as well. And so what is going to happen on the national front with the Social Democrats? Will they consider pulling out of the uh, national uh, government? There's a lot that still remains to be answered here.